Okay, so we are back. Uh, I think this is going to be like the loot, uh, loot all the crap and uh, wrap up any last few missions. Because um, I think the last video is going to be me fighting the Chef Guardian, as I mentioned, which I do actually kill, and this gun is flying. Okay, well, I'll just leave it at that. I think that was from the, the, the dragon. Kill an entire robot dragon, all I got was a white pistol. <laughs> Loot system. <laughs> it's a little weird, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the majority of this is probably just going to be me looting stuff. I think my priority was pick up anything that was A, better, B, purple. Um, <laughs> that's essentially my, my thought process in this area. If it's purple, pick it up. If it's not, eh, we can just leave it on the floor. Unless it does better damage. Which I don't know if we get an upgrade for any of the weapons we might uh the game might surprise me uh this one might do more damage than my my actual sniper rifle Show me some green arrows. it either does more damage or everything else okay everything else good good to know i think i found way too many sniper rifles than i wanted it's sort of like opening a booster pack and then like having like two things and <laughs> Like, maybe one and a half card, you're like, oh, okay. That is an assault rifle. That is actually better than the one I have for the most part. Less damage, though, but this is, like, 1,500. So, uh, another purple. And I think I got rid of my my SMG. Well, not yet got rid of, but, like, replaced it. So this is a bandit weapon that does more damage. Uh, Hyperion, though, outclasses everything, which sucks. Ugh. I don't like Iberian weapons. I don't. I don't. <laughs> Game, please, please stop giving me Hyperion. Uh, that's for the Berserker. Even though I'm not the Berserker. For the most part, we haven't gotten too many of those. Those like, uh, for different those items for different classes, which is nice. I don't really, really like those because like, oh yeah, I just finished fighting this really really hard boss and I got an item that I can't even attempt to use oh okay okay game I get it I get it I'm not saying this is borderline's fault they do that in a lot of games it's just that feel you know that feel bro feel bro <laughs> that feel bro that just that just sounds weird <coughs> and I'm gonna cough for my uh, my mistake I might have been able to loot the other sections of this, but we're pretty much done with the DLC anyway, so I just decided to go back. I think we have maybe one or two side quests. Nothing too extreme. That is a terrible shotgun. That was awful. <laughs> it's like, oh, do you want this? Well, red, 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 red. Green? Oh, good, it has more bullets. Good. I was worried there for a second. So I think I do the tier two battle for the arena as I lag towards it. Um, just because I was A here and B done with the rest of the game. Oh, this is not for the tier mission. Oh, we've, have we already done that? Well, look at me. Making myself look like an like, like an asshole. Thank you, past me. You the best. Uh, oh, that, that tiered battle is the race. Never mind. Screw that. <laughs> do I attempt that? I don't think I do. I'm not sure if it spawns more bad guys, because I assumed that we were supposed to be fighting bad guys alongside, like, the biker, but we don't. We haven't, so, um, kind of odd. A lot of this DLC is just odd to me. I don't know. Uh, we're going to back to Moxie. Hey, we killed Piston and his robot. 75, uh Pirate Pete. Okay, Pirate the Invincible. This is the Hyperion, Hyperius the Invincible sort of thing. This is the, yeah, Hyperius the Invincible. Uh, it's one of the Seraph Guardians. Uh, they introduce you to the Seraph Guardians here. Apparently, they did not give you a... Um, wait, go back, go back. That was three undiscovered missions in the campaign. So, Badass Crater. That's the racing, the... Okay, that's the, that's the tiered battles. Oh, wait, no, that one isn't. The commercial one. Uh, I think we go to the forge to go do the commercial-based mission. 
Are we just unlocking the tier two battle? Wait, I'm confused. Wait, game, please pass me. Please go open the menu. I didn't read fast enough. What an asshole I am. Okay, it looks like this mission is the tier two battle. Either that or it's the commercial one. I'm going to assume since, I, yeah, this looks like a tier two battle to me. Am I right? Uh, I called it. Ooh. And I think I finished this one. Um, so this is a battle. It's another uh, arena-based mission that you have to fight everyone in under five minutes. Um, essentially, it's just a circle of slaughter again. So nothing too terribly new. I'm not sure if I speed this up uh, or even do it by the looks of it. Where am I going? My like, fuck it, people are shooting at me. Um, yeah, this other mission is the tier 3 battle for the race. Again, I don't feel like doing the racing. Uh, I could probably go back and do the race, and, but I, I ace. I suck, at, I suck at racing in just any game. I just really suck at racing. It's been a problem for the majority of my life. It's like, oh, I'll play a racing game and then get thrashed horribly. I apparently do not have the need for speed. Um, where am I going? Badass crater to the forge. Okay, so this is the uh, the mission for the commercial. Uh, I'm not sure why they didn't give us this during the campaign, but potato potato, I guess. And there's two missions here actually. Oh, that's the uh, tier three battle. Never mind. I, th I got excited there for a second. Then it was just the stupid tier three battles. Yeah, so that's the commercial appeal. This one's more of a, it's a weird one. It's one that's, that you would expect during the main mission because you're commercial and if you're trying to, you know, show off that you are a badass Volt Hunter for the fight, why not do it during the fight, not after you win money? I don't know, it's a weird thing. Sorry that I asked. And I'm not really sure where this mission's at in an odd location. Does not seem that Hyperion... Okay, there they are. It's like the Hyperion... Or Tor... Excuse me. The Torg engineers are not respawning as fast as I assumed. Totally not related to the Hyperion guys at all. See, they were tinted... They were tinted uh, gold. These guys are sunny yellow. You see, there's a difference. Complete another difference. Uh, have you ever felt like... Thank you. So this, uh, this mission is another, uh, mission, uh, weapon-specific mission. Since I don't have any explosive weapons, um, <laughs> they've gladly supplied me with one. I think I might actually have explosive weapons. Um, I'm not sure if I'm specifically supposed to use this exact weapon. Um, this is a missile weapon. I guess there's a difference. Um, the majority of Torg's weapons should fire like this. So this mission it will be just me killing 10 guys. Um, if you didn't notice, they fire the weapon and it shoots several different pellets. And those pellets are not actual pellets. They are missiles. So, yeah, that is a thing. It is Torg we're talking about. I mean, come on. Did, did you not see this coming? I would say it's not as good as the weapon they have in Tiny Tina's DLC, but I will not spoil the fun they have until we get there. And that's not for another two DLCs. Specific one. Next one's Hammerlock. So it's the one after that. So I guess we're only going to be doing one more DLC. You'd have to wait. For, yeah. Math is hard. That pretty much sums up commercials, yeah. We've only killed one guy with his weapons. How sad is that? <laughs> this guy has the, the 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 jukes of the century. Jesus, he's like, if I go slightly to the right, to the left, he won't even notice because he doesn't even know which direction I'm walking in. That'll show him. He won't be able to hit me. 
What a genius. Why is this guy only a, ba uh, a bandit? He could have done more with his life. That did not... Wow. That did not count because it was my... So the problem with this is that I have way too many other things to kill uh, people with, like the spiked shield I have, or melee damage, or the exp the the burn damage I have from the, the electric damage that I get when I reload. So I would have been able to finish this mission way sooner than I already have, <laughs> like 20 minutes sooner because. I would have been able to kill him with the actual weapon, not from... Oh, he dropped a purple. And then immediately fell through the world and was never seen again. Good. Good. That's what I want, game. The one sec- the one time someone drops a purple weapon, they're just like, You know what? You know what? I don't think you want it. I wish I could kill two more people. Jeebus. Where's this guy? That barrel knew what's up. Wow, he that barrel still hit me. Wow, I am I'm kind of salty by that. Uh, just one more. Oh my god, one more. <laughs> Thank you. He wanted us. He f he filmed us shooting people for radio. Can I can I say that I feel like I wasted my time there? <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be insulted by the fact that he's not gonna put that on the uh, by any sort of television that the futuristic television that they have, but on a radio. <laughs> Do I have a face for radio? Is that a torg? Is that it? Are you trying to insult me? I guess that's why they threw it away at the end of the mission. Or, end of the mission. End of the campaign, they just sort of have a throwaway mission. Where you can just go kill ten people. Because you feel like it. Although, you probably would have killed ten people on the way here. Uh, <laughs> but that's besides the point, okay? You're doing this for the for the cold, hard cash, okay? As well as not being hit by fire. That's terrifying. <laughs> I'm just casually walking by, and there's a few robots. And they're like, oh, hey, look at this asshole. Some people, you know. There's the joke. There's the. Yep. Okay. Got a face for radio. Thank you. I knew that was coming. I want that and that and that. Wow! I did that in time. Holy shit! <laughs> I am a god. Um. So I think I go down the better fr uh, best friends forever path rather than the arcane or. Uh, what's the last one? It's not Arcane. It's Arsonist. If I ever go back. Um, and I'm just looking at the, the skills here. So, from what I've heard, uh, the Best Friend Forever Tree is more of a defensive, newbie sort of build that buffs up you and your dear death trap. Uh, so you gain like much more health, much more shield. And then the second one, uh, the little bit of trouble, or little big trouble, um, that's more of like a medium style place the one that I've been dying the majority with with the the main campaign although I will say I haven't died as many times as I have uh, in the DLCs like I've barely died and if I have it's been some stupid reason so the last mission I want to try for the DLC is Pirate uh, Pete the Invincible that one I can do uh, by going to his pub bar pub bar um, but I go to the beatdown instead? What am I, an idiot? Ugh. Dude, it could have just gone to his bar. I will be fighting him probably in the next video. Um, just because I do fight him because I wanted, I wanted to see who all the, uh, the guardians are. And for some reason I picked up that, which is a pile of poop. So, <laughs> not really sure why I have that. I think I accidentally replaced my shotgun. And I think this shotgun 
is worse than my yeah just less damage a lot less damage and i was like i don't feel comfortable just throwing away six thousand seven thousand damage um plus 850 percent damage so this thing always packs a punch like it doesn't matter whatever whatever shotgun i get unless there's another copy of this in the second playthrough uh, luckily, we are fairly close to the bar. I don't remember there being too much in the way. Um, and I think I just run past any bad guys anyway, so. Oh, the bar's right there. Okay. So we'll be fighting him next time. It's pretty, pretty long fight. Uh, I sped up the majority of the actual fight. I go in once, I die, and I come back and I redo the fight. And I don't actually die, which is nice. Not dying is always fun.